So it could be two things. It, they could have um, like a narrowed urethra or maybe they need to be dilated or um, have a procedure or it could be they have overactive bladder and their bladder is kind of contracting inappropriately and making um, them go more frequently. So we kind of have to assess the underlying cause. Yeah, I don't find it uh, particularly difficult to have that conversation, maybe because I'm also female, but uh, if they've made the conscious decision to make the appointment and come in, they are willing to talk about it because it's gotten to that point where it's bad enough. As I said, uh, this is a quality of life uh, issue. So uh, we uh, ask the patient first, is it bothersome? If it's bothersome, then uh, we have multiple uh, things that we can do for the patient. The least invasive is behavioral modification um, and uh, pelvic floor therapy that we can offer. Uh, after that, there are medications that we can offer the patient uh, for the overactive bladder. Uh, if that doesn't work, uh, then there are procedures that can be done, uh, including Botox injection, um, uh, neural stimulation that can uh, be done, and what's called a peritibial uh, nerve stimulation, uh, PTNS. Uh, and we do offer all of those uh, here.